You love to hear the story again and again of how it all got started way back when. Molly Mall is right in your face. Classic Recipes is right in the place. Oh my God, I think I'm having a rap attack. In control. In control. In control. Golden Era Radio. When I first met MC Shan and he came to the House of Hits at my house in Queensbridge, he had the Marley Scratch written on a napkin. All of his beats and my rhymes attached. Form the new creation called the Marley Scratch. We're always there at a positive course. His beats, my rhymes come by May 4th. Before Shan started making records, he was known as a freestyle king on 12th Street in Queensbridge. The track The Bridge was made not to be a record, it was made for intermission music at the Queensbridge Festival that we had in Queensbridge Park in 1984. Now the first time the track played, everybody's heads turned. Everybody was like, wow, it's a song about Queensbridge. Everybody was like, play it again, play it again. It was so popular that day when we played it in the park. One of my nephews took the tape and spread it throughout Queensbridge. Everybody in Queensbridge had a copy of that song and it wasn't a record yet. I had to do something about that. Back then when we was making records, we didn't have the Apletons, the MPCs, we didn't even have a 1200. So let me tell you my setup that I used to use. I had two sampling digital delay SDD 2000s from Korg. I also used my trusted 808, which I used on a lot of productions back in those days. Now a lot of people used to think I was using the SP-12 or SP-1200. I wasn't. I was actually triggering the drum sounds from the 808 into the SDD sample and digital delay. My friend Claudio suggested that I use the kick and the snare. I would put the snare in one sampler and trigger it off the 808 and put the kick in the other one. And that's how it was achieved. And today, we're gonna recreate the bridge in the brand new MPC Renaissance. Not too long before that session, I was given a whole batch of records from Tough City's own Aaron Fuchs. He said, here, can't pay you for the Spoonie G session, but you could take this pile of records. In that pile of records was Impeach the President. Ladies and gentlemen. Now being that I already knew that Impeach the President was hot on the streets, I want to remake that song. Now as you see, when we put that in the drum machine, the pattern is boom, pat, ba-boom, boom, pat, boom, boom, pat. That's the sound that I'll redo. Now that's how it sounds programmed without the ghost notes included. For those of you who don't know what a ghost note is, you can go back to Eric B's President Episode 2 and see what I'm talking about. Now the ghost notes for this track is actually these two sounds right here. This is how it sounds with the added ghost notes. After the kick and snare was looped up with the ghost note included, I added the hi-hat, which came from an 808. Today we'll simulate the 808 with the Renaissance MPC. I decided that this track needed to be very noisy. I want this track to be heard blocks and blocks down the block before it got to you. Now for that noise, I didn't have to dig too far. I just went into my brother's records and found one of the records that they used to play to get the crowd moving. Scratching by the Magic Disco Machine. You might say it sounds a little different to your ears. That's because I reversed it and played it backwards and triggered it off the kick so it could sound like this. And that's the backwards effect with the reverb coming first before the hit. The impact of reversing it was incredible because to this day, a lot of people never knew what that sound was. Now you'll notice, every time the kick kicks in the bridge, you will hear that backwards sound at the same time. Back in the day, we used to trigger those samples off of kicks, snares, or whatever would send a pulse to the sampler. Now in order for me to get this beat started, I had to come with a dope intro. I mean, an intro that would just blow everything else out the water. So we came with this. That was made because the 808 back in the day had an auto fill-in section. You could hit the button, every eight bars, a nice auto fill would come in. 
And that fill happened to have been in the drum machine from a previous session. And I didn't know, but it worked out and we used it. So if you listen to Impeach the President, you'll hear this at the top. Now on the bridge, my voice, I had to say, ladies and gentlemen, we got MC Shannon and Molly Mall in the house. They just came from off tour, and they want to tell you a little story about where they come from. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen we got MC Shannon and Molly Mall in the house tonight. They just came from off tour, and they want to tell you a little story about where they come from. We didn't say that hip-hop started in the bridge on that record. We said we wanted to tell you a little story about where we came from, but a lot of other people didn't see it that way. Basically, we made the record in 1984. It didn't see the streets until 1986 when it came out on the Bridge Records. Bridge Records was formed in Philadelphia by Lawrence Goodman of Pop Art Records because Roxanne Chante was already signed to Pop Art and we felt that that would be the best home for the Bridge. As you already know, this record became a hit, but a lot of responses came out from people who thought that we were talking about hip hop started in Queensbridge, especially from people in the Bronx. Boogie Down Production came out with South Bronx, South South Bronx. South Bronx, the South South Bronx, South Bronx, the South South Bronx. So you know we had to go back in the lab and come with something else. We came with Kill That Noise. South Bronx, Kill That, Kill That Noise. South Bronx, Kill That, Kill That Noise. And they came with The Bridge Is Over. I said, The Bridge Is Over, The Bridge Is Over. Bye bye. The Bridge Is Over, The Bridge Is Over. The funny story about The Bridge Is Over is that I had met BDP for the first time at Power Play Studios when they was playing their demos for Mr. Magic. Mr. Magic was my partner. Good evening to your super listeners. How you doing tonight? He was the voice, I was the DJ on the world famous Mr. Magic Rap Attack that was on WBLS back in the day. Now the Rap Attack was the first commercial rap radio show in the world and everybody wanted to get down. Well that night, Boogie Down Production wanted Mr. Magic to hear their demo. So he went in the room, the music was very loud, he did not like it at all. So it got really, really heated. In a rush to vacate the studio, I forgot my famous drum reel with all my drum sounds on them. Fast forward, I'm listening to the radio and I hear a song called The Bridge Is Over, utilizing my drum sounds. I was like, yo, that sounds like my drum sounds. Who's that? That's them kids that Magic dissed in the studio the other day. The Bridge Is Over was made using my drum sounds that I left at Power Play Studios. Every producer knows their drum sounds. It has something to do with the needle going over the plastic with a certain amount of crackle on each kick. Hear that? That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know it's time. You know what it's time for, right? It's time for that special spice. Well, today's special spice is this, the 808 kick. That's right, I had the 808 kick riding under the kick from Impeach the President because I told you in episode two that Impeach the President has a lot of mid to it and it's not so low. So we use this for a robust kick under the kick. This is an effect that you would hear coming up the street before the car actually got there if they was playing that record. You know what I mean. Now that everything's inside the MPC, I know you're dying to hear the end result. Today we're going to do it a little different. Today, the acapella will live on this brand new SP15 Molly Mall retrofitted technique turntable. You love, you love, you love, you love, you love, you love to hear the story. Yes, you do. Every place they said his name, it rang in a law, otherwise known as me, T-Tong. 
One of the lessons learned from this song is sometimes when you sit in your house and you create, you never know what happens with that creation. This song was meant to be a mere intermission music filler. It became a hit. Put your all into it because you never know you could be making a hip-hop classic yourself. Wow, now you know the ingredients to that classic recipe. It took a kick and a snare that I always love to use in Peace to President. I use it on about three or four songs that week and they all were hits. We took a blaring sound from a disco record. I turned it backwards, but made this song to be one of the first songs with noise in it. A nice hi-hat and a special spice of an 808 kick that wrote on the bottom that you all love. And a special voice by MC Shan made it a hit, The Bridge. So there you have it, another addition of classic recipes with your boy DJ Legend, AKA Marley Mall. Stay tuned because you know I got the most classics in hip hop and I'm gonna show you how all those recipes was made. Till next time, peace. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Marley Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. You love the, oh, f Every time you heard that sound in the and a great <sighs> to do things like that because we got the Emmys. That's a blooper. <laughs> Welcome to Dub Spot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.